All right, I am going to be walking through the process of exporting a Maya camera and importing it into Unreal as an FBX. If you haven't seen my video on how to do the manual process, uh, I recommend watching that before the in-depth Python tutorial. Uh, so to start off, I'm just showing the camera motion here. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new Python file. I'm gonna call this maya.py, open up Visual Studio, I'm going to drag my file over here, and I'll start by importing Maya commands as commands. I'll set a new variable for my camera, and that will be equal to commands.ls my camera. So it's going to search the Maya nodes for my camera, that string, and then I'm going to check if anything is found. If my camera is found, I'm going to run commands.select to go ahead and select that node. And then I'm going to set the options for the FBX export. So I'm going to set FBX export file version to FBX 2020. And then I'm going to set FBX export cameras as true. Uh, that way we make sure we pick up the camera. Now I'm going to set up the actual export command. Uh, so first I'm going to pass in the path to the FBX or where I want the FBX to be located. I'm going to set force to true. I'm going to set options is equal to options. Type equals FBX export. And then I'm going to set PR to true and ES to true. Now I'm just going to print a statement, camera exported, and then I'll pass in the path of the FBX export. And then I'll set an else statement here uh, that way, if no camera is found, we'll just simply print uh, no camera found or export failed. Now I'll go ahead and minimize this, jump back to Maya, open up the script editor, and I'm just going to drag my Python file into the script editor and then hit run. And we see camera exported to that path, so our export was successful. Now what we're going to do is just drag that FBX back into our scene. That way we can verify that uh, the keys were added to the FBX export and everything looks fine. So we'll drag that back in, set our active view to that camera, and scrub the timeline here, and we can see that it looks like our export was successful. So now let's jump over to Unreal. We'll start by creating a new Python file. We'll call this unreal.py. We'll open up Visual Studio. And now let's jump into the Unreal code. Uh, so we'll start by importing the Unreal module. Uh, we'll set cam name to my camera. This is going to be the same node name as in Maya. The FBX cam path uh, to our camera path also in our Maya export. And then we'll set our sequence soft path equal to our sequence in Unreal. So we'll jump into Unreal copy the reference out of the Unreal sequence, paste it in, and just keep the string value. All right, now I'm going to create two Unreal subsystems. I'm going to create the editor actor subsystem and the Unreal editor subsystem. Uh, both of these are going to be used later on in the script, so we're just setting up the variables for the two. Next, we're going to take that sequence soft path and create a new variable called sequence, and we're going to go ahead and load that asset. Next, we'll use the level sequence editor blueprint library to open that level sequence so we can be working in an opened level sequence and call things from that sequence. And then we'll define a new variable existing cam and set that equal to sequence.find binding by, type, by name. And uh, we're going to find that by our cam name, so the string we defined earlier. Next, we'll get the name of the existing camera and check if that exists in our level sequence. We'll set up an else statement as well and then create uh, two print statements, uh, one for if we need to set up the camera, and then one that says camera not found. So now we'll jump back to Unreal, 
we'll go ahead and execute this Python script. So we should see the level sequence open and then the setup camera print statement, which tells us now we need to go write the code to set up the camera. So we'll delete this print statement here. And then we are going to create a new variable named Cine camera. And we're going to use the editor level library to spawn that actor from a class. That class is going to be the Cine camera actor. Make sure we set it as the static class and then just create an empty Unreal vector. Now we're going to rename our actor. So we'll go ahead and set the actor label and we'll set that to our cam name string that we defined earlier. Then we'll create a new Cine camera component and we'll call our Cine camera and then get Cine camera component. And we'll go ahead and use this later, uh, but we're just going to define that variable now. Next, we'll set our binding is equal to add spawnable from instance. So we're going to take our actor, we're going to add it to the sequence as a spawnable, and then delete that existing actor from the world. After that, we'll jump back to Unreal and we'll go ahead and run this script. Essentially, what should happen is it's going to create the camera. It's going to copy it to the level sequence as a spawnable and then delete that existing actor. So we should be left with one camera. We can see we have a camera in our sequence that is a spawnable. And if we check our outliner, we should only see that single camera. So it looks like it worked. And then we'll go ahead and jump back to the code. Uh, what we're going to do now is just replace this else statement. Uh, we're going to set the binding equal to existing cam. So essentially, if a camera is found, we're just going to set that binding variable equal to that. Next, we're going to set up our import settings. So all of the settings that are required uh, to import the FBX correctly, we'll go ahead and write those now. So it's going to be a lot of import setting dot set editor property, and we're going to define all of the different editor properties we need to set up. So the first one's going to be create cameras. We'll go ahead and copy this, paste it five more times. And the five following settings are going to be import uniform scale, force front X axis, match by name only, reduce keys, and reduce key tolerance. We're going to set the reduce keys tolerance value to 0 0.001. This is the default import. We're going to set reduce keys to true, and then we're going to set the import uniform scale to 10. This is just what we've been using. That's the uh, Maya scale in millimeters in Unreal. Uh, next, we're going to set up the world variable. This is just going to be the editor system and then get editor world. And finally, we'll set up the actual import sequence FBX call itself. So the arguments here are the world. Um, so we're getting the editor world, the sequence, which is our loaded level sequence that we defined earlier, our binding, which is either a found camera or the created new camera, the import settings, and then the FBX camera path, which is our Windows file path to that FBX. So now we'll go ahead and run this script. And now we should have all the pieces together to actually create the camera, import the FBX, and then import again on top of that FBX and just essentially import the changes. So our camera imported here. We can see all of the motion. Everything looks like it imported correctly, but that focus is horrible. So we're going to go ahead and set that camera focus method to tracking instead of the default. So we'll start by setting the focus settings. That's going to be equal to Unreal. Uh, and then camera focus settings. We're then going to set the focus method equal to tracking. Next, we'll just get our Cine camera component and set the focus settings equal to focus settings, which we just defined above. Now we have a completed script, so let's go ahead and run it. So as we can see here, we've got a clean focused camera shot now. And now that we've set up the ability to import a new camera, as well as import a camera on top of an existing one. Let's go back to our Maya scene and let's go ahead and edit this a bit. So we'll just pull really far away here, something really visible to do quickly. And then let's go ahead and open up our script editor. We can hit Control Z to bring back our last ran script, which was our export script. We can see our camera exported correctly. Jump back to Unreal and we'll just rerun that Python script. So already we can see the camera has been updated. 
Now, the reason we want to update the camera instead of just blowing it away and creating a new one is any changes we now make on this camera component, uh, we don't have to erase them. So if we change the lens, the exposure, any settings on this component, we can now re-import our updated animation out of Maya and import it on top of the camera component so that we can still keep all of our cool changes to the actual camera, but get the updated motion. Thanks for sticking around and watching this video. I'll post all of the Python code we worked on in the video description. That way you can easily copy and paste it. And I hope this was helpful.